Hi, my name is Dr. Neelam Palmer and I work as Director of eLearning. Today we will be looking at how we can access the Promethean Active Inspire Interactive Files and Smartboard Files on ViewSonic Digital Whiteboard. The ViewSonic Digital Whiteboard solution includes ViewBoard hardware and MyViewBoard software. Teachers might be using different digital whiteboards, such as Promethean or Smart, and no matter which board you're using, the files are saved as a whiteboard common file format known as .iwb. Teachers can build upon their current topic materials by accessing a huge ready-to-use lessons online, referring to all subjects or topics provided by worldwide educators at any level. Using my view board to import those IWB files, you can extend your lesson and aggregate documents, images, audios, videos, browsers, YouTube, and apps all into one canvas to enrich your lesson. There are two ways to open up one's Active Inspire files. Firstly, if you have signed on using the single sign-on facility, you will automatically connect to your local server or cloud files. It is just as easy to click on the folder icon below and navigate to your cloud files and import an Active Inspire presentation for the class. Alternatively, you may wish to go via your OneDrive and open your teaching files in this manner. Secondly, as the view board is a computer itself and stores your school credentials, you should be able to open your flip charts and use them in the same way as you've done in the past with your students. For demonstration purposes, let us open a lesson based on Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. If you're already logged onto the board using your school credentials, you will have full access to the licensed software. And you can do this by clicking on the magic box in here, then on the interactive whiteboard, and double-clicking on your Midsummer's Night's Dream lesson. And this is the same when using the Smartboard IWB file. The way to go about doing this is by clicking on the magic box, then into IWB, and then this time into the Smart file. Okay, so now you can see that one of my files is up on the screen. By using the lasso toolbar and icon, I can then select a piece of content, unlock it, and move it around. So as you can see, the content is completely editable. Teachers can reorganize the content and add more to the ViewBoard canvas. Through the use of the ViewSonic board, all interactivity is not lost. Teachers can continue to teach in this fashion as well as use some of the new features offered by the board itself. Thank you very much for watching. For more information, please go to education.viewsonic.com.